From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Today we're expecting thunderstorms again. Your full weather forecast with Greg Dees coming up. Good morning, I'm James Tully. Here are your ABC Action News headlines today. The defense is expected to take over in the trial of the Pasco County man who admitted to killing his own neighbor. Chu Feng Ki says he shot and killed Edward Tudor last year because he was bullying him. Key wanted the death penalty, but after that was denied, he changed his plea to not guilty. If there are any new developments from the trial today, we'll update you in the ABC Action News mobile app. Auburndale police now reviewing surveillance video from a preschool looking for more abuse victims. Michelle Wilkerson is accused of yanking a child by the arm on two separate occasions. Police say she also covered the mouth, nose and chin of a child, forcing their head back and also squeezing the child's cheek, making them cry. She told police she did it as punishment. Statement was that she did it to prevent them from biting each other, but all of the video does not show the children biting each other. Little Bloodhound Preschool did not give us a comment, but police say the preschool's policy is that employees should never put their hands on a child. Instead, they're supposed to use their voice to redirect them if they misbehave. Stores like Dollar General are building thousands of new locations nationwide, but now more cities are starting to limit how many can open in their community. They believe it discourages grocery stores with healthy foods from coming into food desert areas. While Dollar General has added fresh food to some stores, it's something food watchdog groups are tracking very closely. Tampa Mayor Jane Castor has unveiled an executive order to track how often LGBTQ businesses are involved in lucrative government contracts. It allows them to take advantage of some of the same resources that women and minority business owners do. The mayor made the announcement at the National LGBT Chamber of Commerce's conference that was held here in Tampa. And today is move-in day for students at St. Leo University in Pasco County. St. Leo is welcoming more than 1,000 students this year, the largest incoming group of students in the university's 130 year history. Hopefully they don't need an umbrella while they do it because Greg, you're tracking more showers today. Uh, so much rain out there, James. Another day of showers and thunderstorms. More of it this morning than we started all week long. Temperatures out there in the upper 70s to around 80. And you know what? You're going to need that umbrella for much of the afternoon. We're going to see numerous showers, numerous storms, heavy downpours and frequent lightning. And it looks like that rain could last for much of the area throughout the day. So you want to stay ahead on these forecasts by downloading the ABC Action News app. It's got detailed hour by hour forecasts for locations all across the Bay Area. And as you move around the region, it updates that forecast based on your current location. And it looks like you're going to need this app right through the afternoon. The Storm Shield app also on your smartphone. It's free, gives you access to Titan Doppler radar so you know exactly where the storms are as you go out and about your day.